Hey guys, so today we're going to continue working on the Maverick Camper and what we're going to do today is probably the most critical part of the whole build and uh, you know, some of you are probably wondering how the heck is he going to sleep in that four and a half foot bed and, and really you can't. So you either have to go on top or you have to do something a little more creative and I'm going that creative route. So my idea is what I want to do is I want to have a pull out so this pulls there's going to be an extension that pulls out so that I could have this area where I sleep. Uh, and the idea is that it pushes in and it's nice and compact when I'm driving. But at night when I'm sleeping, I need a little extra room for my legs. And as long as you're under six feet, you could pull it out this far and you're going to be fine. If you're over six feet, you'll have to extend beyond the, the bed, uh, the tailgate itself. But I'm not over six feet, so I don't have that problem. Uh, anyway, so what I need to do is I need to build the pull-out extension. Okay, so first challenge is that uh, I, if I want, I have a little marker on my wood here. If I want it to pull, the extension to pull out this far uh, and I push it in, you'll see that it'll hit this wheel well. So I actually have to have the extension above that wheel well so that it could go in this far. So that's my goal is to give it that far of an extension and you could see how far over the wheel well it goes so i need to first create a brace right here all right so i put up this bar right here and the idea is that i would have the slide out go in and out like that so it's level with this part right here okay so i got this side rail done you can see going to slide right in and this side I need to have a little bit of uh, a rail right there for the board to run on also. Okay, so I got this plate and this is going to slide in and out like that. So that's the base. All right, so now I need to make the slats so I could pull it in and pull it out. All right, so I got the slats in. Let's just take a look at what they're gonna look like. So it's gonna sit like this. Everything will be held in when I put in the legs. So it slides in like that. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so it's like this. Pulls out. I got that one crossbar mounted to the two sides. Next up to the slide out, I need to build the legs right here so when I pull it out that uh, the legs stand here. Alright, I forgot to turn on my mic for this portion of the video, but I added the legs and I put in these hinges here. And I'll leave a link in the description for these hinges too. But there's a little pin on them so you could push in the pins, flip them up and slide them in. And that way the legs are nice and tucked away and I don't have to worry about uh, them being longer than the actual area that I have to use. So it slides in real nice. So next up I need to build a frame for my slide in. It needs to go up this high so I could slide it in so it could be sealed. I need a bar right here also so that uh, this portion can seal easily. All right, so this is what I got so far. I started to build this frame. Got this legs that's that's on this hinge. Pull that out. Sits right there, and it should stay. And I'll build a wall around here, and that'll be my pull-out extension. Let's take a look. All right, so that's the way it looks right now. Let's look down here with the legs. So what I need to do before I put up the walls is I need to finish back there. So what I have is this wood right here that stops it. Right there stops it on, on both sides. I need to do one on the top too. It's also a support acro across the, the top of course. But it's also going to be a stopper. And then I'll start thinking about what I want to do for the skin. Okay, so I got that bar in on the back. You can see it's up there. I have my pullout ready to go. 
So here's the idea uh, that I would pull it out like this, open up the legs, lock it down, and you can see that those that um, those bars will seal everything in. Okay, so let's take a look at how it will look. So here I go. I come in. <sighs> And here would be my bed. So this would pull out and turn into my bed. Let me demo that for you. All right. So here I, here I am. What I'm going to do? Put this down. I'll be laying in here like this. So this would be the bed that I'm going to make later. But I'll be able to lay like this. So that's how I plan to sleep in the back of this Ford Maverick with this uh, extension pullout. I don't know what I want to call it. <laughs> but anyway, so it's mainly, mainly it just for your legs. So you'll be able to sleep probably like up to a six foot two maybe. Six, yeah, maybe six foot two. I think that's how far it opens up, but then... Now I got to put on the skin and all that stuff, and I'm trying to make everything as light as possible. But for now, I think it works pretty good. Let's fold it up and put it back. Put up the legs. And everything should be nice and flush, and you can see there's a portion that will be covered inside up until right there so um, I'd be only only be able to sit over there if uh, if I don't pull it out which is actually okay that's that's sitting room but you know that space in the middle is still available there's just gonna be a wall right there all right got the door I'm gonna come in and again there'll be a wall right here and I'll be able to sit right here and I'll build a cabinet counter right here for cooking and things like that. But, you know, I'll still be able to sit inside like this. So, you know, I'll be able to relax inside the truck still, even without the extension pulled out. So the only thing left for today is Miller time. <laughs>